1996-21i, the prosecutor against Zdravko Mucic. Can uh, everyone hear me? Uh, everyone who's using a microphone, can everyone hear me in the language they understand? Mr. Mukcic? Very good. Okay. This is uh, an initial appearance uh, pursuant to Rule 62 of the Tribunal's Rules of Procedure and Evidence. May I have the appearance for the appearances for the prosecutor, please? I am Eric Gersbey, a senior trial attorney, and I appear today with my co-counsel, Mrs. Teresa McHenry. Very good. Thank you. May I have the uh, appearances for the defense? Very good. Mr. Rhodes, remember to use the microphone. It's, it's I'm so sorry. Thank, fine. Thank you so much. Are there any additional appearances? No. Is the prosecutor ready to proceed uh, with the initial appearance? Yes, Your Honor. But before that, I have a correction to make in the indictment. On page 6 of the indictment, in the English version at least, there is a misprint in, if you, if I can, uh, uh, in the English to, version, to paragraph 22. Paragraph 22, page 6, in the middle of that paragraph, uh, seven or eight lines from the bottom, it reads, uh, and including all the murders described above in paragraph 17 to 22, should be 16 to 21. The same misprint appears in the serbo croatian translation. In the French translation, however, it's correctly put. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Rhodes, do you, do, did you follow that, that request? It would be paragraph 22 of the <coughs> indictment in the English version and in the serbo croatian version. Uh, they would be changed. It's the French version that's correct. I don't suppose you've read all versions, have you? Hey, Your Honor, not okay. yet. Um, Mr. Osberg was kind enough to inform me before Your Honor came to court that he would be trying to make this amendment. Of course, it doesn't take me by surprise or prejudice me negatively. Very good. Thank you. Then uh, leave will be granted uh, to the prosecutor to submit um, uh, the corrected version, that is, just correcting this type typographical error in the English and in the Serbo-Croatian version. Mr. Um, uh, Rhodes, is the defense ready to proceed? Um, only ready to proceed with this hearing, but not any further. Fine, thank you. Has uh, Mr. Rhodes, has Mr. Uh, Muchitz received uh, a copy of the indictment? Your Honor, yes. And uh, has he read it, or has he had it read to him in a language he understands? Yes. Have you had an opportunity to discuss with Mr. Mucic the indictment? Your Honor, yes. Pleas of not guilty are entered by Mr. Mucic in respect of all these charges. And in your opinion, does Mr. Mucic, I have a few more questions to ask you. Actually, if, if you take a look at our Rule 62 of our Rules of Procedure and Evidence, they, they require a lot of us, so, so I'm kind of going through this, if I may. In your opinion, um, does Mr. Mutic understand the nature of the charges against him contained in the indictment? Yes, Your Honor. And uh, is Mr. Mutic ready to proceed with a reading of the indictment for the purposes of an entry of, plea, of a plea, or does he wish to waive the reading of the indictment in its entirety? Your Honor, I've not had an opportunity of asking him that specific thing. Okay. Uh, might I uh, just approach my client? Yes, you may. No, and it's not necessary for the indictment to be read. Okay. Um, Mr. Mutage, would you please stand? Would you please stand, sir? Are you ready to proceed uh, with an entry of a plea to the counts in the indictment in which you are charged? No. For, for the record, sir, would you state your full name? 
Lucić, Zdravko. And have, have you ever been known by a nickname? Da. And, and what is that uh, nickname, sir? Pavel. Pavel? Mr. Osberg, um, would you identify the, the counts in the indictment uh, to which you yes, wish Mr. Mutic to enter a plea? Yes. Uh, these are the following counts, 13 and 14. 33 to 35, 38 to 39, 44 to including 49. That would be the counts pertaining to Mr. Music. Mr. Mutic, you have received a copy of the indictment, have you not? The. And I. Are you ready to enter a plea with respect to these counts of the indictment? The. How, how, how do you plead guilty or not guilty as to counts, as to count 13 of the indictment? No, as, as to count 14 of the indictment, how do you plead, guilty or not guilty? No. As, as to count 33 of the indictment, how do you plead, guilty or not guilty? No. As to count 34 of the indictment, how do you plead, guilty or not guilty? No. As to count 35 of the indictment, how do you plead, guilty or not guilty? No. As to count 38 of the indictment, how do you plead, guilty or not guilty? No. As to count 39 of the indictment, how do you plead, guilty or not guilty? No. And as to counts 44 through and including count, as to count 44 through and including count 49, how do you plead guilty or not guilty? No. Fine, thank you. You may be seated. Mr. Osberg, have I called out all of the counts to, wish you, to which you wish Mr. Mutage to enter a plea? Yes, you have, Your Honor. Fine, thank you. Now, are there any preliminary matters that need to be addressed uh, by counsel at this time? Mr. Osberg? No, we have nothing to say. Mr. Rhodes? Not at the moment, Your Honor. Is the um, uh, prosecutor ready to proceed to trial? Yes, Your Honor. And Mr. Rhodes, are you ready to proceed to trial? No, Okay. The, uh, once again, Mr. Rhodes, uh, Rule 62 of our Rules of, of Procedure and Evidence uh, suggests that, that I should set a date for trial, which I will en endeavor to do after we, we talk a little bit. Do you intend on um, filing any preliminary motions, Mr. Rhodes? Rule Honor, 73 of our Rules provide for that. Your Honor, it's too early to say. I've only received uh, instructions in this case within the last 48 hours, and I have still to receive the prosecution witness statements okay. and other material. You have, as, as, I, as I've indicated, you have 60 days uh, to file any preliminary motions. The uh, <coughs> Rule 66, Mr. Osberg, uh, provides that the prosecutor shall make available to the defense as soon as practicable, after the initial appearance of the accused, copies of the supporting material which accompanied the indictment when confirmation was sought, as well as all prior statements obtained by the prosecutor from the accused or from prosecution witnesses. When do you think you'll provide that information to Mr. Rhodes? We will be uh, able to do that in the following week. We have to do some redacting 
uh, of the indictment from the point of view of protecting, protecting the victims, uh, chiefly the rape victims. And we'll do that in the, in, tomorrow in the beginning of next week, and I think during the next week, at, at, the, at the latest, next Friday, we would uh, be able to provide the defense with the uh, supporting material. Okay, then by uh, April the 19th, that's, that's the Friday of next week, then yes. you'll provide. Is that sufficient yes. time? Yes. Then, Mr. Rhodes, uh, the prosecutor then will provide you that material called for in the rule by uh, April the 19th. Um, Yes, 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 yes. May I, Your Honor, have some, raise some issues, not, a, not exactly a motion, by some comments? Yes. Uh, the indictment uh, encompasses, as you see from the heading of it, another three indicted persons, more than Mr. Music. One of them, by the name of Senil Deladic, has been arrested in Germany. And he will soon, we do not know now, for exactly when uh, he will be delivered or transferred to the tribunal. Maybe in a couple of weeks, maybe even next week, we are not certain yet, but he is arrested in Munich of Germany. It is material to, to this trial that uh, uh, the case against Mr. Music and Mr. Delalic uh, be tried uh, uh, in, one, in one piece, that we try them together. Therefore, Your Honor, I suggest that the date for the trial not be set until Delalic has arrived in The Hague and we know what kind of motions he will make and, and, uh, and what we can do. It's, it's premature, I think, today to set the trial date. I think we will find a date, Your Honor, for, for a status conference to discuss this question sometime after the arrival of Mr. of Mr. De Lalic. Mr. Rose, do you have do you, Mr. Rhodes, do you have a uh, comment to make with respect to that suggestion? Uh, simply that it seems a very sensible suggestion to be made. Well, I don't know that we'll, Mr. Mucic should really wait for another individual. I don't know when that other individual may be arriving, if, if he if, will be. Yes, Your Honor, if, if, that is, if there is some delay, uh, more than, say, two or three weeks, then, of course, okay. he cannot wait, wait. But for a reasonable uh, period of time, I, I think okay. it's, it's a good thing to do so. Okay. By April the 19th, the prosecutor will provide the defense with the accompanied material. We'll set a status conference um, with the chamber, and the prosecutor and the defense should appear at the status conference on May the 14th, 1996, at 9 a.m. That will enable the chamber to assess the progress of the case in terms of the additional defendant as well as Mr. Rhodes to hear from you with respect to any preliminary motions that you may file. Um, after the status conference uh, on May the 14th, we will um, set a date uh, for, for the trial. Is that acceptable? Are there additional matters that need to be brought to the attention of the uh, chamber at this time? Mr. Rhodes? Mr. Osberg? No, on my. Excuse me. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Rhodes, you can also file any applications for motion even before 14th May if you want to. You're I'm grateful, Your Honor. not obliged to wait until 14th. I'm grateful, Your Honor. Is there anything else, uh, Mr. Osberg? No. Mr. No, Rhodes, and, and you, you understand what, Mr. With, what Judge Sidwell is saying. If you want to, you can file a motion just as soon as you wish. But you do have the 60 days is the limit, so um, the outside limit, so take a look at the rules. Thank you very much. Then we will stand adjourned.
Always free, full of free.